Hey everyone, Chip here. I've got some new updates and some uh, a new uh, product to share with my Patreon subscribers. But the, the new update is to batch, and it does some pretty cool stuff. As you probably know, our decals always look really good inside of Eevee. Let's go ahead and change the color here. We'll make it like blue and turn a color on. And these decals always work good. And the more important thing to notice in this decal is when I look at it rendered, you'll see that it shows a shadow artifact. And that's because over here in our visibility, we really need to turn off diffuse, glossy, and shadow. If or we need to select our object, turn off diffuse, glossy, and shadow. And then it works good. This actually needs to have, <laughs> the cube probably should have all those turned back on. So anyway, so we've added that now to the new batch. It automatically does that so it works inside of cycles. So let me show you some stuff uh, that I've been able to do with that. So uh, let's first go into one of the uh, kits that actually just comes with one of the k-packs that comes with pro and there's this insert here display insert i'll just drag this into here and hit the s button scale it up a little bit and you can see that uh, we might want to center it on the y-axis and center it on the x2 so we're, we're in pretty good shape there now Let's take a look at this object. Let's first remove the kit ops properties from it because I'm going to add some stuff to it. I'm going to show you here in a second. But this emissive surface here, we will change that to a one. And let's make it kind of a darker blue for now. And with that selected, I'm going to go in to some new decals. And these are the decals, as I mentioned, I'm going to be giving away to the Patreon subscribers. With this object, now it has the kit ops removed so I can apply things directly on it. And I'll just go grab this one right here. I'm gonna add that insert and I'm gonna scroll. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off auto scale and I'm gonna grab it. And then I can just use my mouse button to scroll it. And you can see it scrolls well, but you see that it's upside down. So I'm gonna hold the alt key down, get it so it's in the right direction, something like that. And then let's grab another one, like maybe this one. We'll move him over here. Let's put him something like, like so. And I can keep doing this, of course, and just add my, create a GUI display for myself, something like this. Here's some vertical ones. They can go right in here. And then add another single one, maybe like this. And now I've got a pretty nice display. And of course, when I look into cycles, it renders really nice. Um, now, one of the things I can do also is I'm going to go back into my material for one of these and I'm going to change the color. So let's go in here. We'll grab a color and let's choose, uh, let's say something greenish, say like that. Okay, and then I'm going to turn the color on about 0.8, and you can see it changed it all as uh, as it might. And then my strength is two, so that's good. So I'm going to, with my mouse hovering over here, I'll Control C, and then I'll just go into each one of these: Control V, Control V, Control V, and Control V. That one's already done. Now you may remember that we have this 0.8, so I'm going to Control C that. And then go and do the exact same thing. V, V, V. Why didn't I go to one? The reason why I didn't go to one is so I could get a little bit of differentiation. It's a little darker green here, a little less green there. Then I can go to the background one, the background there. And let's change that to something like a dark green also. And now we basically changed our whole display. And one of the cool things about this also is that since I'm in K cycles, They've got the best bloom in the world in K-Cycles. That's just a given. And so I can go in here in, in the bloom, and I'm going to just basically take this blend and turn it all up to one. And turn the thresh. And you'll see that now with the bloom applied, that's what it's going to apply. So I'm going to add the threshold, something like 0.8. Give it a little bit less. We'll give it a chance to see what happens. There, it's a little bit less, maybe 0.5. This is, by the way, a better bloom than Blender's own bloom uh, in post-processing. This is a great bloom. So that looks pretty good. Intensity, we're going to give it a 1.5. And we can basically see this thing update. And once we get it to where we like it, I'll go back to Blend and say 
and now it's going to basically apply that at the end and you can see how cool is that so that's our new that's our new uh, display that we were able to put together very quickly and as you can tell in these I've got quite a few different different GUI maps here that you can play around with and uh, enjoy so hopefully this helps uh, gets you some gets you excited about some of the new things coming down the pipe and by the way the new uh, batch is going to be out any day now oh one more thing to show you that's really cool check this out so if I take let's take this let's go to something else let's find let's add that insert again we'll put it over here and as you remember, we need to go in this particular case because this has not been updated with a new batch all the way. It does have a new feature that I do want to show you, but I'm going to go ahead and take this now and go in and turn off diffuse glossy and shadow. So it's a good and I can just basically take it and let's go ahead and center it also. OK, so now we have it centered. Let's take a look at this new decal grunge and it works with cycles also. So this is really great. I can basically just adjust this grunge however much I want to take away from this decal. I can do that. It works in cycles and of course it works in EV as well. So that's a brand new feature in the new batch uh, when it creates decals. It add, automatically adds this decal grunge, this kind of a destruct destructive node group that you can now uh, automatically start to cut away at your decal. So. So that's it. Hopefully uh, you enjoy it. For the Patreon guys, just jump on. I'll, I'm going to put all these up there for you so you can use them. And remember that, uh, don't forget that you can set them to orange or blue or green or whatever color you want using the material editor. editor. So, great. Good seeing you and see you online. And thanks for watching.